last few weeks we've been asking some mechanically minded farmers to nominate their favourite workshop tools. Well, not everything actually is going to stuff you're going to use in the workshop, but we've got the top 15 here that we're going to try and test out and see um, just how useful they really are. We've got everything from bearing fitting kits and bead breakers to inverter arc welders and water pump pliers. This is Spalding's 160 amp inverter arc welder. Now, it only weighs 4.5 kilos, but it will match the output of this old thing, which is a 30 to 40 year old Murex light welder. Yet, you can jump up a ladder or work out of a telehandler and do some pretty serious welding with it. And we'll show that right now. Although, it won't be me doing the welding, as it'll probably look like a flock of starlings have been about. The controls are pretty simple. The on and off switch, temperature overload, plus and minus buttons to vary the ampage or the power, and the ability to switch between standard stick welding and TIG welding. Believe it or not, this welder is capable of TIG welding. <laughs> what we've got here is a pretty simple piece of kit that could save you a lot of time, hassle and money and frozen engine blocks. It's just a simple antifreeze tester and uh, to demonstrate it here we have a pint of orange squash and a pint of coolant. Maybe handy way of, for colourblind people of distinguishing between their orange squash and uh, antifreeze. So we'll suck up a bit of uh, orange squash and you can see that the, uh, the float hasn't risen at all. So if we test the antifreeze now you'll see the float floats and on this numbered scale that denotes what temperature this is rated to and what protection it will give. So currently this will give protection down to about minus 15. Busting the bead off tyres can be a really tricky task and usually involves several hours misery and several skin knuckles. This is Spalding's bead breaker and um, it's a couple of hundred quid, but I think it's money well spent because it makes the job a whole lot easier. Just a case of screwing the blade down in behind the rim. And then once that's in position, just winding it out until the bead pops off. Then, once you've got it to this point, it's just a case of kicking the rest of the tyre off the rim. LED inspection lamps aren't an unusual thing in workshops nowadays, but this one from Ring is claimed to be virtually indestructible. We're going to go and find out how unbreakable it really is. And it still works. It's quite impressive, really. This is one of those magnetic tool trays, which you'll find in most workshops. But it's a really useful thing. We thought it deserved mention because it is so useful. You can sling a handful of nuts whilst you're working on the machine in there. They're held. And then you can slap it down pretty much anywhere. And uh, they stay there.